the top seven ways to find your next real estate property. It's one of the number one questions that I get as a real estate professional is, Jay, how do I find a good real estate investment property to invest in? I'm gonna break that down right now because so many people are asking me, I wanna share with you the top seven. So if you're looking to invest in 2024, you gotta stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Jay Lehman. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Champaign, Illinois. I'm also a real estate investor, but I really specialize in helping people find real estate investment properties that they can invest in and start building wealth right now. So if that's you and this video brings you value, would you like, would you subscribe? Would you leave a comment and tell me where you're looking to invest so that I can connect you with somebody if it's not my area, if it's in central Illinois, I'm gonna help you find your property in 2024. So let's get right into the list. And the list is this, number one, one way to find properties to invest in is find a realtor who also invests in properties themselves and helps other investors. There's a lot of realtors out there that don't even own real estate investment properties. I know that's shocking, but a large percentage of realtors don't own real estate investment properties, even though they're probably, you would think, more educated than most to actually invest in real estate, but that's not the case. They help a lot of people, owner-occupied clients, buy and sell their principal residences, but they never actually help investors buy or sell investment properties and they don't buy investment properties themselves. I do both. I've been investing for years and I have over a hundred units here in Illinois and I own a portion of 200 units in Iowa. And so I've owned multifamily, single family. So as a realtor who helps fellow investors find properties, I like to call myself an income property specialist because I am able to find properties, whether they're on the MLS, which I can give you access to the MLS. And so that's what a realtor can do. So that's one way a really good helper or off market properties through my network and leveraging my network to find different properties. The number one way to find real estate properties is to find an income property specialist real estate agent that can help you. Now there's not a lot out there. There's just a few in central Illinois and I am one of those. I'd be happy to help you. That's not the only way to find a property or other ways that you could actually find properties. Number two is just on Zillow. You can go on your phone and look at Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com and you could find properties and shoot them to a realtor to get an idea or you can go see those properties yourself. Whatever you decide to do, you could do. But there's a lot of data right now on Zillow in Central Illinois. You could find a rental property that could cash flow from day one. If you know how to buy it right and use the proper financing and manage it right, you could actually be able to find a property that way. So that's the second way. The third way is real estate meetups. At real estate meetups, fellow investors or fellow people that want to invest in real estate will get together. And when they get together, they talk about their properties and what they're doing and how they're building different things up. That is one of the best ways to find properties in your market is go to real estate meetups. When you go to real estate meetups, what ends up happening is you build a relationship with people. And over time, maybe not immediately, that builds trust. And people like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And so if you can stick around those meetups, a lot of times you can find great off-market deals when an investor is ready to cash out or move on to a different asset and they want to sell one asset so they can take the extra profit and go into a bigger asset. You want to be right there. So real estate meetups are a great way for you to find properties. Number four is your network. Tell everybody you know you're looking for real estate properties. Ask people if they own real estate properties. Talk to them. You'd be surprised how many people in your network actually own rental properties and you'll have opinions that they love them. Some people hate them. The ones that they hate them, ask them why and see if they'd be willing to sell. The ones that love them, ask them if they'd ever be able to sell. I tell you what, if people will do that, they can actually find real estate investment properties off market that sometimes can be phenomenal deals. It's not just a one trick pony. I do think a realtor is a great way to find it, but you've got your own network as well. Number five, send letters out. That's right. Send letters. Now I've send handwritten letters and had success writing letters to people for apartments that I drive by. I say, that's a nice apartment. I'm going to look up the address, look up who the owner is and where the address of the owner is, and I'm going to send a handwritten letter to them. And I've gotten a good response from handwritten letters. I've also done blanket mailers where I'm just going to send a mailer to all the properties, 20 units and above in my market, or maybe you would send a, a one to all the single families that are $100,000 and below or in a certain zip code. And you send out mailers and you see 
hey, I'm looking to be a real estate investor. Is there anything you're willing to sell? So you can look up those things and you can have a higher company to send out mailers for you. It's a little bit of investment, but sometimes you can spend a thousand bucks on mailers and get a property at a great deal that maybe, you know, is worth a hundred thousand on open market and you were able to buy it for 90,000 instead of a hundred thousand because you found it with one of your letters and you just made a $10,000 profit minus your thousand dollars in marketing expense to find the deal. Well, you made a $9,000 profit. So those mailers, although the response rate is 2%, maybe 3%, the people that do respond are usually motivated to sell. There's a reason people keep sending you junk mail and direct mail to your mailbox is because it works. And if something works from a marketing perspective, businesses are going to continue to do that. Now, number six is a little different. You may never heard of it. It takes a lot of sweat equity, but it is called driving for dollars. And it can be highly effective. When I was first getting started in real estate, I would drive for dollars and I would see this beat up house and I would say, hmm, that one looks beat up. I wonder if that person was wanting to sell, if that's a, a rental property that maybe the landlord lives out of state and they just are tired of it. And maybe I could take it off his hands and solve his problem and fix up the property so the tenant has a better place to live in. Or maybe I can fix it up and flip it for a higher price. Nice. All these things can be an option when you drive for dollars. So driving for dollars, just means you get in your car, you drive around, you look for beat up properties, you write down the addresses, and you're able to uh, send letters to the owners of those addresses and find out if they'd be willing to sell to you. So driving for dollars is another way that you can do that. If you're a licensed real estate agent, that's a little bit trickier to do. As a licensed real estate agent, you always need to disclose that you are a licensed realtor, but you're an average person and you're not a licensed realtor, you don't have to disclose anything because you're not a realtor. And then number seven, but certainly not least is property management companies. That's right. Once you get one property or two properties, chances are you'll probably get them managed by a professional property management company. And if you do that, property management companies have access to a lot of different owners. And oftentimes here, when a property is going to sell before it even hits the market, if they know that you're a good client and that you would use them to manage the property, if they told you about this property was selling, they would probably tell you about it. Remember, property managers are paid by the amount of properties that they manage. So when an owner goes to sell, it's in their best interest for the property manager to connect that seller to another client of the property management so that they can continue to manage that property after the sale. That's a key thing. Property managers can connect you to other apartment owners and other apartment owners or other single family or other real estate house owners are oftentimes looking to sell to other investors and they want to work with investors and sometimes they don't want to put it on the market. So those are seven ways that you can find deals. But I will tell you this, the number one way is still through a realtor who's an income property specialist that helps other investors find their real estate investment property. So if 2024 is your year and you're like, hey, I want to get started in real estate investing. Let's do it. I want to help you leave a comment below. I'll reach out to you, respond to your comment. We'll get connected. We'll get you cash flowing in Champaign, Illinois, or Central Illinois. Wherever you pick to invest here in Central Illinois, we'll get you rolling. Let's go.